Hi, and welcome to the video on circumference of semicircles and quadrants. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the circumference, or the perimeter that is, of semicircles and quadrants. So let's take a look. Semicircles are just half circles. Here I've got a picture of a half circle, and it has a diameter of 10 meters. Now, if this was an entire whole circle, the formula would be c equals pi d, or pi times the diameter. But I don't have a whole circle, I have a semicircle, and I just want to find out half of that. So if I halve my pi d, that will tell me just the curved part of my circle. But there's still something missing from my answer. The red is not the entire perimeter. I still need this straight line, which is the diameter. So I'll need to add on another diameter. This formula right here will give me the circumference or the perimeter of my semicircle. So the diameter is 10, so it's a half times pi times 10, and then I'm going to add on another 10. In the end, we're going to get an answer of 25.71 meters, and that's to two decimal places. The question doesn't say how many decimal places to round it off to, so you get to choose as long as it's accurate. That's semicircles. Remember that when you're finding the circumference, if you halve the, the formula, you'll only get half the curve. You've still got this straight line to add on. All right, let's go on to quadrants. Quadrants are quarter circles or quarters of a circle. So if this was an entire circle, I've got a radius there of 12. The circumference would be 2 pi r. But because I've only got a quarter of a circle, I need a quarter of the answer. So I'm going to take a quarter and multiply it by my formula. That gives me the curved part of my quadrant. But just like the last question, I still have my two straight lines. So I'll need to add on a radius and another radius. Notice how these are R's for radius and not D for diameters. That's because if this was an entire circle, this would be the center, making this line a radius and not a diameter. So let's see how this all plugs in when we substitute. The circumference is going to be a quarter, lots of 2, lots of pi, lots of the radius. Then I need to remember to add on two more radii. That is, I'm going to add on 12 and 12 again. Putting this into my calculator, and I get an answer of 30.8 millimeters. I'd like you to pause the video, summarize these quick two examples, and then try some for yourself in question 10, and then if you feel up to it, question 11 and 12 as well. All right? So now that you know how to do that, hopefully you can calculate the circumference of semicircles and quadrants. And as always, if you have any questions, ask me tomorrow. Good luck.